one. I'm standing in the Galilee and actually I'm standing on Mount Arbel. As you can overlook the Galilee, you can see how beautiful the lake is. Lake Canaret is what they call it. It's about eight miles wide and about almost 12 miles long. As we're looking out here at the Galilee, you can see everything. You can see right below me, Magdala, and then you can see up where Jesus' boat uh, is, the Canaret. You can see the Mount of Beatitudes, Capernaum, Tapka, everything, Bethsaida, everything is right here in view, where Jesus did most of his teaching and prophesying is right here on the Galilee. Across from me is Kersey, where Jesus uh, had the pigs come out of the man. He had legions of pigs and, and thrown over the cliff right here. This is also where Jesus walked on water and met most of his disciples. It's also at Tabka where Jesus redeemed Peter three times after he was denied three times in Jerusalem over a uh, coal fire. So you can see how beautiful it is. Nazareth is over here where Jesus would have come from Nazareth as being raised as a child and living here as he called the Galilee his hometown at Capernaum. There's so much here in the three years of Jesus' ministry that reflect the New Testament, especially the Gospels. Of, it, it absolutely identifies Jesus as this right here. What I'm holding right now is this might be the place where Jesus was walking, where the uh, Sadducees said you're not supposed to do anything on Sabbath, especially eating wheat. Today just happens to be the Sabbath, but you know what? Jesus broke those laws because it doesn't mean anything. Anyway, I just want you to see Mount Arbel and how beautiful it is. Uh, this is this is the master seed. This is the master seed. This is the wild master seed. This is the flower that basically we have it spread all around, mainly the Galilee, some other places as well, but mainly the Galilee. And if you walk here, if you walk and and, and you hike and walk, this is the main flower that bloom in this time of the season, like the early early spring. And not by accident, when Jesus gave the parables and the messages, they were down to earth. Many, many of them are down to earth because people needed to connect, to connect by seeing the Master Seed. If you have a faith like a teeny tiny in those pods, those pods, we have teeny tiny seeds. Mm -hmm. And these teeny tiny seeds are the message of Yeshua when he said if you have the faith as a master said you can move mountains and this is it because people could see it all their way people were walking people taking horses walking seeing this could connect to the stories could connect to the parables and here we are and you can see it right now beautiful